What's up guys? Welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. Welcome to Q&A Mondays. I'm Thad Barnett. Today we're talking about best practices for preparing for your installation as a contractor. We're talking organization, job site prep, the whole nine yards. And today to help me out, I've got Dave Stubbs from the Sheffield Metals Technical Department. Thanks for being here, Dave. Really appreciate it. Absolutely, Thad. Now you have a ton of experience both as an installer and now as a weather type warranty inspector. So you've seen hundreds and hundreds of job sites all over the world. So let's start with a little bit of organization, you know, getting your ducks in a row. What should a contractor think about when they're starting a new project? Well, information is always the catalyst to success. You know, what does the roof look like? What are you putting on it? And then it, it's a huge spectrum. You know, every panel system is slightly different. You need to orchestrate it a little bit different. But first, where do you want to start on the roof? How complex is it? All these things are questions to be answered prior to the start. You know, a lot of guys want to start in a simple area to get a little bit of momentum and continuity within the team, depending on how big the job is. If you've got a, a, a big crew, um, continuity is important so that everybody's doing the same thing. Uh, throughout the process, and you kind of get in a rhythm. Um, another, you know, thought process is if, you know, you're working on a house, there's a reason there's the back of a house. Maybe you want to start at the back. A lot of these things for the orchestration of a project are super important. The information. So, you know, roof plan, get an idea of what you got, what the roof system is, and what the details are. And from there, you really, um, that kind of derives uh, the product base you know, what you're going to need for, for the assembly, you're going to need the panels, the clips, the screws, all of those things are important. They need to all align, make sure you're using the right, the right panel system, you know, with the right pitch or however that, however you derive your process to uh, profiling a panel and getting the right panel profile. You know, all the accessories are super important, the right clip. Um, and within your details, you should have your clip spacing so that you know how many clips you need. Um, and then that will drive a, a point of two screws per clip. So you need all those screws plus all your perimeter flashing needs to be attached. And then really before all of that happens, that roof needs to be dried in, like fully dried in. I, I get on roofs and they want to see a, a dry in inspection and I get up on the roof and it's not even completed. I've mentioned in other roofs, a lot of the problems that we run into is incomplete work. That is a, a tragedy really, you know, get it to the end whether it's the dry-in, uh, but really starting with momentum is important. And so having all the pieces, parts to get you to the end is super important. And, you know, I mean, there's so many different uh, levels of complexity when it comes to roofing. It could be, you know, small residential, it could be large commercial, it could be a re-roof, could be new construction. Um, but let's talk a little bit about job site prep. You know, let's say the roof's dried in and we've got our materials that we need to set up. You know, what are some best practices there when it comes to job site prep? Well, anytime, you know, if you're doing an on-site roll forming, um, you want to make sure you've got a good count of how many panels. And there's no reason to um, not be able to uh, roll form your panels directly to length. You, know, you shouldn't have to cut too many of your panels. Obviously, the panels that need to be cut are going to be the valley and hips and, and panels that really need to be cut. Otherwise, get get good measurements. That time spent getting good measurements is super important when you need to get the job done. Make sure you know where you're going to start and then prepare yourself for that. The way you stack your panels is important when they go on the ground. Uh, I was never a guy that uh, wanted my panels on the ground for very long. I had panels run over. I, uh, I installed in Colorado when mother would we'd roll farm the panels one day and it would snow the next and nobody saw them with the snow plow or whatever. So I always liked my panels up on the roof as soon as I could. That way I knew where they were. Uh, they need to be stacked properly. Uh, they need to be in an organized manner. When I show up on a job site, so many times I see stuff strung out all over and that doesn't look like a successful project. Disorganized uh, processes don't lead to uh, efficient processes. So uh, being efficient, organized is really important. Stack the panels so that they don't hold water. Tie them up. We never know how the wind's going to blow or, you know, anymore when it's going to blow. Um, so that's super important because loss of material is a loss on the job. There, there's no making it up. You know, um, you might have some extras, but lo and behold, if you ran one extra panel, you're going to need it, <laughs> right? 
So um, organization uh, leads to efficiency, and efficiency is, is really how money is made. And what about when you're preparing your crew for the next installation? You know, what are some things that, sh- that you would tell them um, to make sure that they are ready to go? I talk to a lot of foremen on projects, and they're like, oh, I have a plan. Well, that's wonderful. But a plan that's not shared is a dream. So if, if somebody has a plan and to execute a proper plan, it needs to be shared with the group and it needs to be detailed daily, whether you daily huddle and say, hey, we've got to modify the plan because we ran out of trim. Construction is tough because there's always modifications. The normal process is to make a plan to change it, which is OK. But if you don't have a plan, your, your modification is a complete disruption. Have a plan to execute um, and share it with your team. Everybody's important. You know, don't share it with just, you know, the two lead guys. Share it with everybody so that everybody is, is, is properly informed on what they're doing today and what their goal is by the end of the week. Goals are super important. You know, um, I used to get my guys going. I always liked guys that were super competitive. And, you know, oh, you can't put on that, you know. You can't put on 40 panels in a day. My guys be like, oh, really? Okay. Well, make sure they're put on properly. Don't, you know, don't, you know, don't cut corners or anything else. But it's always, it's always nice to have a little bit of a, an open run of panels that you can be a little bit, you know, competitive and, and have fun with it that way. But really that plan is, needs to be executed the way you want that plan to be executed. Yeah. And, you know, part of that plan is those details. And I know that, you know, we've talked about before, sometimes, You'll agree on a set of details, whether it's a warranty project or not, and then the that's not communicated to the people actually putting on the roof. So tell me a little bit about that communication. Yeah, that can be a serious hindrance. Anytime you're going backwards on a metal roof, if something gets done wrong, um, that modification is costly. Sometimes going backwards and tearing a bunch of stuff off isn't the best scenario. You know, a lot of times when we when we make modifications on some of the weather side warranty stuff, leave what's there. And we'll modify over the top of it because taking stuff apart cause more problems than um, just leaving it there. So we really try to take a, uh, an approach to cost, uh, prohibitive factors, whether you're going to um, integrate with another trade, what it means for the long run, what it means aesthetically. Nobody wants to see an ugly metal roof. You know, it's that, that sweet spot of performance, quality and aesthetics. Uh, performance for me will always um, lead the charge versus aesthetics, which is a tough one. Yeah, details are super important. So th- that needs to be part of the conversation as far as the plan. If your plan doesn't include a certain section of the roof as far as its details, you need to get them before you get there. Because anytime you stop and remobilize to another, another area that's ready, you're losing continuity, you're losing energy, and you're, you're losing a little bit of of uh, momentum on the project. And you mentioned working with other trades. Tell me a little bit about that preparation. Yeah, you know, it's something that we, we run into a lot, whether it's uh, the metal roof integrating into siding, um, the MEP stuff, the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing guys. Having those conversations with the other trades is super important. We try to make modifications to some of our details for the siders to come in and do a pre-flash installation and let the siders go, and then we come in with our metal roofing so that the stucco guys, siders, masons, whoever is doing the wall system, you know, doesn't perpetuate cost by destroying the metal panels because nobody can protect the metal panels up to its condition of a new install. It's just impossible. And we try to tread lightly on it when we're inspecting. Um, the installers try to tread lightly on stuff, but any amount of foot traffic can be, you know, prohibitive to uh, the longevity of the paint. And uh, what that, you know, how many, how many people can go across the roof is still, you know, in question, but we always try to tread lightly. So integrating with the other trades is super important. And um, sometimes it's just about having a conversation. A lot of times about documentation and, and uh, sequencing is huge. We did a huge project on a military base where they went around and, and hung all the gutter and did the roof and came back and tried to do the fascia and they fought the fascia trying to get behind the gutter. It's it's about sequencing. You know, start from the bottom of the roof and work up. Put on your patient before your gutter. Put on your gutter before your uh, your roof. So what about when it comes to, you know, other issues that you've seen at job sites? You know, what are some 
additional tips? What else have we missed when it comes to job site preparation? Communication within the team. Communication from the project management, knowing what your plan is today, tomorrow, end of the week, by the end of next week. You know, what's your goal is in six weeks we need to be done. And then you back off your schedule. And schedule is communication. You know, that schedule that you build or should be built it is part of the process. And if you have those missing links, if you don't have an idea of when you need to end, um, that's really tough. That's really tough for everybody. Communication on site. Uh, with that plumber, with that mason, with the ciders, uh, is is really great. Uh, a lot of times, you'll see the same people on the on the next job. So, um, hopefully, you can all you know get along, communicate. You don't always have to you don't always have to get along, but you have to you know respect other other people's work and things like that. Um, but that's again, that's communication. All right. Well, thanks very much, Dave. You know, I appreciate it. Uh, it's been great info. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing revolutionary, right? If you have any questions, comment down below. We'd love to answer them in a future video. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel. As always, I'm Thad Barnett. We'll catch you next time.